in my dreams, transmuting lower energies. You insulting my intelligence, like I'm a dumb chick, but I'm the dopest chick, and you know that, bitch. Tap in. Hi, everyone. Okay. I'm here to give you all your messages. I'm Nayla Latrice, motivational speaker and coach. You guys, thank you so much for clicking onto this video, all right? You guys can work with me one-on-one -on -one down below in the description bar. So we have Treasure Island, number nine. First of all, you guys could be born on the ninth of any month or nine o'clock could be significant, a.m. or p.m. Um, you can have a nine-year-old, Any something about the number nine, but I feel like you guys are very independent is what I'm picking up on something that's finalizing i feel like treasure island this is law of attraction in uh in in effect so you guys are um in you guys are in in sync with the laws of the universe you guys are manifesting something here so i don't know what you guys are manifesting but you guys are manifesting something big a treasure I, i'm hearing hold it close to your heart or something that you hold near and dear to your heart something it's kind of like give me your your biggest wish is coming true or something you didn't think could ever happen you're actually in alignment with it okay wow do y'all see how that came out exchanging gifts TikTok. Number 927, you could be born on 927 as well. Happy, happy by the book. Yeah, you were doing things by the book, new life. Let's just get one more. This is the energies that want to be out. Let's just get one more. I'm ready to make an entrance, so back on up is what I'm picking up. Mending, okay, let's go to the sea. We always get this card on this channel. Okay, the number 27, 30, 26, 11, or 52 could be significant. Okay, hold on. With this number seven, all right, because um, we always getting it. Let me see what it's talking about. Because like I said, it's always coming up. So this is, it says, being in flow, returning to source, recognizing how pieces fit together, a natural pattern of events. The Oracle's message is, isn't it wonderful when you feel yourself in the flow of life, when events and conditions seem to engage you in a way that is fluid and effortless? This card reminds you that going with the flow is exactly what you need to do right now. Ride the wave of opportunity formed by perfect conditions. Allow trust and faith to guide you forward as you flow like a river into the sea of life. And that's, look, they're both water. Isn't this funny? Both colors and everything. You're you're being guided right directly to your manifestation. Because this nine talks about the law of attraction and you manifesting. So stop scrambling. Okay? The prosperity, since we're talking about law of attraction with this number nine, the number seven card, there's a prosperity message. It says, everything seems to work out when you stop scrambling and allow the sea of opportunities to wash over you and wake you up to your most prosperous potential. So wake up to your potential. Wake up to who you really are inside. You're alive. Hello. Like make a silly, funny face. Make your eyes be big and bug out. You feel me? Go, ha, ha, ha. Just do something silly. I don't know. <laughs> I hope that didn't sound like a wicked laugh. But if it did, it's whatever. You know, it's like I'm far from that. You feel me? But it's like, just do something silly. Dress up. It's giving me cosplay. It's giving me Halloween. Some of you guys could be born on Halloween. You guys could be a Scorpio or something like that as well. But it's really just giving me, um, um, uh, or... What that's Sag. That would be Sag. Yeah. If, if you born on Halloween, you 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 Sag. But still, I'm I'm getting Scorpio energy with all this water. That's why I said Scorpio. Um, but uh you definitely could be a Scorpio then. Um anyways, it says get into the flow. You need to address your beliefs about abundance and money. The true meaning of your personal currency lies within your skills, your talents, and your own abilities. And most importantly, your core beliefs. Everything flows from your inner world and is then reflected in your outer world. When you are grateful to serve, you then align your prosperity consciousness with a higher consciousness and you can expect to receive miracles. This treasure island. Everything you need will come to you easily. Do you not see this? Everything is coming to you very easily at this time. Do you not see this? Look at everything here. Treasure Island. Exchanging gifts fell right on top of that. Come on now. And then you got what? Nine times four is 27. You feel me? 
So we got TikTok. It's happening in a matter of time. You about to be happy, happy with whatever you manifest in here. You doing things by the book. Okay, you doing things in order. Spirit is saying right now with whatever it is, you're going to have to do things correctly. Meaning you may have to, this whatever you're manifesting, it could be a new job. You may have to, you know, go into that job and you can, you got to not put on face. But you know, it's when you got to, when you at home, you at home. So you, you blasting your music or doing, you in that, a different type of, you're in a creative, more, more so creative energy. But when you get to work, you got to, you know. It doesn't mean it's a stiff job, but you got to be professional. You got to do your damn job. So this is saying you got responsibilities. You got to get your paperwork in. You got to research. You got to make phone calls. This is you being an adult. You got to do things. You're out in the... What, there's so many energies here. If you guys have an overwhelming... Energy right now, just breathe it out. <laughs> I'm excited because it's a lot of good stuff Spirit is saying. Whatever this is, is coming in. Spirit is saying you're going to have to move by the book. Everybody can't know what you're doing. Everybody can't see what you're doing. You just got to act quote unquote normal. Even though you may have just, you could have just got a brand new car, a brand new Mercedes. Act like you didn't just get nothing. You ain't got to go, oh yeah, I just got a new car. Even if somebody said, oh, I just got a new car. You'd be like, oh, that's cool. What type of car you got, girl or guy? What You know, be like, oh, that's dope. That's it. You ain't got to mention, oh, yeah, I just got one too. Just be quiet. If people happen to see you and they say something to you, yeah, be like, oh, yeah, you got this. Oh, yeah, I do have this. Yeah. But don't, you don't, you get what I'm saying? It's time to do things by the book. Make sure your paperwork, I keep hearing something about paperwork. So make sure your paperwork is in order or make sure that you are doing things in order because whatever this is for many of you guys, it's something big. If you, it's something you thought that was never going to happen, that position, your dream job, right? Or some type of, um, I don't know, person, you guys could be manifesting a person here and this person coming into your life is just everything like it just switches the trajectory you guys know how when you guys get somebody in your energy and it's it's good right so exchanging gifts so i don't know what this is but this is the universe exchanging gifts with you spirit says i see that you guys have been faithful i see that you guys have been going with the flow i see that you guys have worked on yourself I see you have done things by the book as well. I see that you've been happy through all circumstances or joy because happiness is fleeting. But joy, you've been joyful and peaceful no matter what has come up against you. I see you, chosen one. I see you, beloved. So I'm going to exchange these gifts with you and give you what you've been asking me for. Some of you guys have been asking for something for over 10 years. That's definitely for somebody. And you're receiving it. If you've been waiting for something for 10 years... And you know you've been asking and you know you've been working on something. This message is specifically for you. Something's going to come as a surprise. It's like you're not expecting the ballerina to come out the box. Maybe a, some new car keys. Maybe a ring or something. But not a person. It's kind of like a cake. You know those fake cakes and then, then boom, the person comes out. You guys could be a Virgo. Happy birthday, Virgos. You could be celebrating your birthday. You could be getting some type of birthday surprise as well. Okay? Or something could, if, even if you're not a Virgo, since you're watching this in Virgo season, um, this could be something around your birthday. I mentioned Scorpios as well. So you could be a Scorpio and something could be happening around your birthday for Scorpio or any any time your birthday. If your birthday ain't until January, something's going to be happening for you around January. Doesn't mean that's when this is coming in. This is separate, right? But I do see something coming in around Around your birthday as well but for some of you guys this is a right now message you guys are definitely manifesting here yeah and it's gonna make you happy some of you guys are pregnant with a girl or you guys just had a baby girl here as well i see you guys decorating a room pink for your for a baby's arrival or again you guys just have one you guys can have a cat as well some of you guys can have a turtle too but yeah again something that's happening in a matter of time it's only a matter of time for this for this energy to come. It has to come in. Even if it took 10 years, it has to come in. It has to. And whatever this is, it's going to make you so happy, so excited. 
And again, you're going to have to follow instructions. Or some of the, I heard a lawyer, some of you guys may, remember I kept saying paperwork. So some of you guys may, it may require some type of lawyer or maybe just some type of legal aid or someone just to look over some documents. It may not be a lawyer, but you get what I'm saying? It's just legalities and really paying attention to what you're signing and documents and all of that type of stuff. You guys are going to know. Uh, oh, I heard even for some of you guys, it's a health report. I was talking to a blind man today and he was like, God's going to come touch my eyes. He had that faith and I was touching him too. I was touching on him. The old white man, he, he was filling out some paperwork. He couldn't fill it out. He couldn't fill it out. So I was filling it out for him. You know, I was asking, asking him his information and, you know, and that made me feel so amazing. I'm so thankful. Oh my God. I was so thankful I was able to help. Oh, I'm about to cry. Because we don't realize the things that we take for granted. And other people, they are happy and stuff. And they don't have half of what we have. Woo. Anyways, he was believing for his eyes to be healed. And I was touching on him and rubbing on his arm, kind of, you know, like, hey, you know, we was in good, deep conversation, man. We was talking, man, we was talking for a long time, you know, and just some of the stuff I learned so much from that man. He was an angel. I promise that he was an angel. Never know who you talking to because you may be entertaining an angel unaware. That man was an angel. Oh, white man, just his hair, he looked kind of dirty a little bit, just... You, he was clean, but, you know, you could tell he had a rough life. His teeth was all jacked up. The average person would have looked at him and was like, oh, he's a druggie. He's a junkie. They wouldn't want to talk to him. I don't judge nobody. And the wisdom that I learned from him. And at the end, like, he shook my hand and he was just you doing like this to my hand. You know, just he was just rubbing on my hand and he was like man you truly just be blessed and he just i mean he was holding my hand for like five minutes and that's not no joke because one two three no he was like holding my hand and we were talking and it was just it was an amazing experience and he was even telling me how he was like i'm gonna get back to it but he was saying he was asking for because he had a, a beetle i think he said that got trapped in his eye because he was trying to give me documents so i could help him like find certain information you know and so I was like, no, I was like, that's your hospital documents. I said, I don't want to look at that. And he was like, oh, yeah, I had to go to the hospital because he had like a beetle or something like that get into his eye or something. And he asked, he said he asked his roommate to look at his eye because he just thought it was dirt. And he's the roommate was being funny and was like, oh, I don't see nothing. He said he was like, I don't want to be looking at looking at you. He was like the blind man told his roommate, oh, so you got eyes, but you ain't using them. So you got eyes, but you really can't see. And I was like, man, I got chills when he said that. Like, we have our eyes, we have our senses, and we take it for granted. Or we be like, I don't want to help this person. Or I don't want to do that for people. You can't be nasty to people, man. You can't be rude and that. And that man, I know his presence blessed me. I, you know, I know I'm a chosen one, but he was a chosen one. I know he was, I know he was a chosen one. He, like, he wasn't talking like a chosen one. He was more so like that earth angel energy. Woo! I was blessed today, y'all. Anyways, for some of you all, this gift is a healed health. A clean, I mean, cancer. Ain't no cancer no more. Ain't no diabetes no more. You go into the doctor and you get your life back. It, I was also seeing somebody, they was... They was talking about how they I heard a man talk about how he was his wife was robbed, uh, shot in the head just a few months ago uh, for 40 bucks at the ATM. I was like, what? It was just crazy. And he was saying how he wasn't able to walk and now he's walking. He was like, I couldn't walk. He's like, I was in a wheelchair. Not from that. Not for what well, he wasn't there at the incident, but just from other health issues. He wasn't able to walk. He hadn't been walking. He wasn't able to walk. And he was, you would have never been able to tell. He was walking like a normal person. Probably walking better than him. So for some of you guys, you can't walk. You about to be healed. You'll be able to use your legs again. I don't, I'm, I'm off course a little bit, but I'm not. Because what I'm saying, whoever's listening, this, this, the message, the story, everything is tying in for somebody. It's a word. I see the seven and the seven, 77. You are in divine presence. 
something yes yeah, something is being mended uh, your health is being mended your situation is being mended spirit is working on it spirit is working on giving you whatever you ask whatever your order is you know your amazon order your food order or your DoorDash, whatever y'all be i'll be doing them all <laughs> amazon be here like every two days <laughs> you know but whatever y'all, I do DoorDash too. I do Instacart, you know, but y'all get it. When you put in the order, you trust it's coming. They're working on it. I get the notifications. Hey, so-and-so is getting your groceries. If there's something that's not available, we'll get you, we'll let you know if there's a substitution or something. Spirit is working on your, on your order. This is your order. Spirit is working on it and spirit is going to be bringing you whatever you manifesting. If you guys are working on manifesting, I am a manifestation coach. So you guys can book your law of attraction coaching down below in the description bar. Okay. Um, but yeah, this is very beautiful energy here. All right. Let me see. Okay. <sighs> Y'all. We got King of Swords at the bottom of the deck. You could heavily be thinking about something, being logical at this time. I'm just get one, two, three. So, oh, what message did you have here? Now, it may or may not have anything to do with what I've already said. It may line up perfectly. Okay. Ooh, yeah, the strength. You felt weak in some type of situation. Yeah, you were doubting yourself in some type of situation here. You felt weak. You didn't have confidence. You felt like you were a coward. Those are those emotions that were keeping you stuck, that was keeping you lack, that was keeping you on hardship, that was keeping you isolated, that was keeping you abandoned or feeling that way. You guys been feeling abandoned, going through a lot of adversity and it just, it played on who you are. It played on your self-esteem. It played on your emotions, making you feel like you weren't good enough. Yeah, three of swords in reverse here, but you're healing that. You've forgiven the situation. You're finally in recovery. You know, you may not have what you asked for yet, but you, you, you started the healing process of getting out of this five of pentacles or whatever this is. You're reconciling and mending back to normal. Some of you guys feel like you guys have been out of a normal reality for the past six months, the past few years. Some of y'all since COVID, it's like, man, ever since COVID, I've just been in a fall. I don't know what my life is. I don't know what's going on. That's all changing. Spirit knew about COVID. What's five of pentacles? But you've been in this five of pentacles so long and doing what you was doing. Like I said, no matter what situations you was in, like I said, spirit saw you was still, that you still kept your peace. Even though you were dealing with this right here. Even though you had, you know, the, the, the issues that you had feeling powerless and so forth. You still kept going through this difficult time. It could have been you and another person. It could have been you and your spouse or your partner. You know, maybe y'all was going through homelessness together. You know, maybe both of y'all lost y'all jobs and it's like, what the hell? So it was, it's you and another person it could be you and the child or you and children. But it's kind of like, it seems like maybe you are doing this by yourself too. But for some of you guys, it's you and another person or you and your whole family that's been out. People was rejecting you, asking you, asking for things. They rejecting you, being immature towards you, you know, it's like, yeah, people wasn't giving to you. They didn't want to give to you. Okay, but it's like you getting this now spirit is given to you now. Okay, you found out some type of truth here. Okay, something was confusing to you, but I feel like you, you're finding out the truth and having some type of breakthrough. One more for this five of pentacles. Yeah, this four of swords and this queen of wands here. It's like now you're this confident person. You're able to rest, relax, be at peace is what I'm seeing here. Okay, I had the deck upside down. Look, exchanging gifts. You and your family about to be happy. Look at this. Didn't I mention Virgos earlier as well? The Hermit here, Four of Wands, Leo energy here as well. Something you're looking into, something could be a, a, about your home or your stability. You're going to find out something that's going to make you happy or you're going to get some type of clarity. It's like, whew, it's going to be a sigh of relief. Ten of Cups here. Something, yeah, the Wheel of Fortune and the Magician. But let's just get one. Let's just get, okay. Look. The magician, the emperor, it's, I heard the emperor is here to say today, yeah, you about to be hanging out with somebody. You about to be connecting with somebody is what I see here as well. There could be a reconciliation that's taking place between you and another person because this is mending as well. It's only a matter of time before some type of love situation is mended or these two people work this situation out. Yeah, because two people were out in the cold. Y'all could have been separated from each other. This person wasn't given to you. 
But I feel like they, I feel like you kept going as well or something. But it's like, I feel I'm hearing everything's coming back around full circle. Yeah, you were determined to keep moving forward. Mm hmm. But with this magician, like I said, you manifest, and this is law of attraction, the magician. You manifest in this. You manifest in something because you, you manifest it correctly. You manifest it the correct way. Everybody wondering why they, they manifest them, but they're not manifesting because you're always manifesting. Every day is a manifestation of who you are. Every single day. Every moment. And so you're like, okay, well, I'm manifesting the same thing over. How do I manifest what I desire? Book your coaching. <laughs> but I see for some of you guys, you guys did that and boom, you guys have manifested and here it is. Okay. We got the emperor energy. You took control. Okay. This could be um, a work job. Like I said, you guys could be getting a job here with this emperor and you're going to be happy, celebrate. You're going to be able to go out for drinks or celebrate. You're going to be able to now feel like you're part of society because now you got coins, you got money, you're feeling good now. I feel like things are happening in a domino effect. Even if it's slow, dominoes, they knock down quick. But I feel like a domino effect is taking place, but it may not be as quick as dominoes literally falling. You get what I'm saying? But it's kind of like, okay, you get the job. And then it's like, ooh, let me get my first paycheck. Ooh, you get your first paycheck. You're like, shit, I'm going out. You buy yourself something to feel good. So now you feel good and you feel better now you're on your job for a month you get your second paycheck now it's like shit my bills is paid now it's like you get what i'm saying it's like things it's a domino effect and it just keeps going up now you get your third check and oh now i'm saving money you get your fourth check oh i got a little money in the bank i'm hanging out with friends i'm being invited out to places it's like you're in that flow in the flow of all good things everything is coming to you easily you don't have to stress or worry about anything because Everything is coming to you easily. Comment that affirmation down below. Why is everything flowing to me so easily on a consistent basis? Why is everything always flowing to me so easily on a consistent basis? But I do see an emperor here. There's a job here that you're going to be connecting with. And it's really good. And it's a good community as well. This job, you're going to meet some cool people there or something like that. And also for some of you guys, this is an emperor that's coming in for you guys that you guys have manifested. Take it how it resonates. But somebody is determined. You or somebody else. And let's just get one more. Thank you so much, Spirit, for your messages. You know who turned this video on and what messages they need to see. Yeah, protect yourself. Stand up for yourself and protect yourself is what I'm picking up on because you work too hard for this. Keep your energy protected as you're manifesting this so you can make sure it actually manifests for you. Don't start getting anxious. Like, where is that? Don't do all of that. Stay in the right energy. Okay, look, because you're a star here. Judgment has been called. Something is coming in towards you. Any type of negativity that wants to come towards you is getting uh, solved. This is also competition. There's some type of competition that's coming towards you. Somebody that could have had some type of argument that you had some type of argument with as well or something. They could be contacting you. There could be some type of judgment on this connection. It's mending. It's not over with. It's like maybe there was an argument. Somebody hung up the phone or you ain't heard from him and it's like well what's the, what's the relationship status type thing because we've been together the last year the last six months the last two years and we had an argument and they hung up the phone and I ain't heard from him and it's been a month is that it is that over with something like that but I feel like something's gonna blow over or something like that and you getting this ace of pentacles either way you good this other person that they may lose out, but you're going to be able to move on. But again, the star here, you're in the spotlight. Protect yourself because you're a star and you're sensitive. You're a healer. Didn't I say something about an Aquarius earlier? Maybe that was in another read. I think that was in another read. Yeah, I think that was in another read. But Aquarius is here and this blue is reminding me of Aquarius energy. You definitely hear our Aquarius watching here. Sagittarius here as well. And Gemini. Yeah, so Sag, Gemini. And um, Aquarius, okay? Um, no earth energy here. Aries as well, okay? No earth energy as far as major arcanas. I look at the major arcanas, okay? For the, we do have this earth energy here, which this is still good and solid. This is your manifestation. This is your manifestation. You're getting it. The hand of God is giving it to you. It's being specially delivered by God. You're going to know that this is from God. You're going to know. You ain't going to have to worry about. Uh, it's going to be it's here. It's from God. Ring doorbell ringing. Ding dong. Somebody doorbell literally could have just rang or it will be ringing. Yeah, you're going to get this really quick and you're going to be able to move forward. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
So I'm going to get some final messages and close this out. Great Spirit, what messages do you have? You guys can go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if it was helpful for you. You guys can also book your Law of Attraction coaching. Clock time. You can't make this shit up. Something is happening very, very quickly. I'm trying to tell you. And it's the first divine intervention. Spiritual bath. Take a spiritual bath. That's you right there. Take a spiritual bath. You're, you've healed or you're a healer as well. I'm telling you, it's only a matter of time before there's some type of divine intervention here for you. Y'all getting, y'all relocating. Spirit is allowing you guys to relocate somewhere. Some of you guys may not even know that you guys are relocating. I feel like you guys are going to get something to come out of nowhere. You guys have manifested one thing and you guys think it's going to look one way. And Spirit is going to bring it to you in another way. And it's way better than what you asked for because you wasn't thinking big enough. You may think, man, I asked for this, and that's huge, and your mind is huge, but don't forget, it's spirit is, inf is infinite. Spirit is infinite intelligence, baby. Infinite possibilities with spirit. So you was thinking limitedly in your human mind, based upon your, your senses, when spirit said, you ain't got no damn sense at all because, baby, you wasn't thinking big enough. I'm about to surprise you and bring this in. It's going to cause a tower moment. Your whole life about to be disrupted in a good way. Spirit is like, that's all you asked for? You, you really couldn't ask for more? Y'all only asking for $50,000 a year when Spirit saying you deserve to have a million dollars. Or let's be realistically, if you're asking for $50,000 a year, you should be asking for $80,000. You get what I'm saying? Yes, that much more. You, you shooting yourself too low. What's this? Look, communication, email, phone call, text. I'm going to put it out. Let's see what else is there. You're going to receive some type of notification about this relocation. I'm going to take this. Y'all see this. Business. It's a business deal. It's changing your timeline. Some of you guys have been shifting timelines. I know I, I be shifting timelines, y'all. If you want to know about the, yep, I be leaping. Leaps. Quantum leaping. Do y'all know about quantum leaping? Comment down below. That's how you manifest. You're a boss. That's why you're getting these business deals. Shadow work. So for some, making money. For some of you guys, this has something to do with, if you guys have a business, you guys be getting a business contract that just comes out of nowhere and changes everything. It could be because you took a leap of faith. You could have reached out to somebody and they rejected you. As I say that, somebody rejected you. You could have reached out to somebody and they rejected you. And now they could be coming to want to work with you. Look. I can't make it up. As I was saying that, Blocked was here. Mm-hmm. Expect magic. Money. Expect Maybe you guys been doing money magic as well, but expect some type of magic when it comes to money. Spirit is going to blow your mind. I'm about to blow your mind. Blow your mind. Blow your mind. Yeah, making money, it keeps here. It's like making it rain. Like, eh, 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 eh. Some of you guys could be strippers or ex-strippers or dancers in any type of way. Third eye visions. Yeah, you've been visualizing this for a long time. Yeah, you could be on social media or somebody could be watching you on social media. Divine intervention. Don't do it. Stay away. Yeah. Walk away from something. Create a new life. Some of you guys, there's something you need to walk away from. But yeah, y'all block somebody. Somebody could have been trying to block you or something as well. Or somebody rejected you because they didn't think that you were good enough or something. Or I don't know. Something was making me say that. I was saying something and I kind of lost track when I saw this come out. Even though it was about that. But I'm going to see what this is right quick. What's this blocked? You guys blocked somebody as well. Justice. You guys may need to block somebody is what Spirit is saying too. Somebody could have tried to block you, but it ain't going to work. Look at this. Seven of Swords. Somebody was trying to block you and be sneaky. Ooh, Spirit, what's this? Let's get this love relationship moving forward. Five of Swords. You guys need to block any type of connections that are not good. Because whatever this is coming in, they can't go with you. They can't go with you. It's okay because if you relocate anyways, they're going to get blocked out anyways. Because you're going to be living a whole new life on a whole new level. It's like, man, I don't even fuck with that person. So you're going to end up blocking them anyways, whether you know that they doing this or not. You just go say, uh-uh. Yeah, somebody was a burden. You blocked somebody. And that's your justice. You blocking somebody is justice because they're going to see you have all of this. It's kind of like this per guy has allowed somebody to be in your life for all the way up until now. And then, boom, you block them. 
but they've been doing dirty and you ain't been knowing and maybe you've been having some type of feeling or inclination it could be a friend of 15, 15 years or something you get what I'm saying or somebody close to you doesn't have to be but it's like they've been in your life for a long time and it's like spirit just been letting them do little things but you've been feeling some type of way maybe but not sure because of who it is or something and then you go get this news you ain't gonna tell them right no you're not gonna tell them and then all of a sudden, you know, you moving and doing all of this. And then when it's time, you be like, yep, blocked. And then they go see you move. They go see like, dang, I ain't heard from so-and-so. They trying to call you and stuff. And then they look up you in Texas somewhere. You feel me? And then it's like, wait, when did, when did they move to Texas? Like what? Why they block me? They going to be trying to get through, trying to hit you up on social media. Like, girl, is your phone off? Like, nah, bitch, I blocked you. <laughs> or whoever. This could be this guy, whoever. You feel me? Tell me more about this blocked yeah somebody's trying to somebody's trying to come towards you but they're blocked as well yeah you walked away from this person this is a queen of cups you walked away from this person. some of you guys this is a woman so fellas there could be a woman out there you walked away from you had to block they could be trying to come towards you yeah this could be somebody in your family but they only trying to come towards you because you got the ten of pentacles whoever this is whether you blocked them or they blocked you it's turning around if they blocked you oh well they you you got blocked out of out of out of the fortune but spirit wanted that to take place because that's their karma. And some of you, you had to block them. But for some of you guys, you blocked somebody a while ago and they're trying to come towards you. But they trying to come to you sneakily. And some of you guys, it's just different stories. I ain't gonna keep going through all the scenarios. But you guys walked away from this queen of cups. Or you're being guided to walk away or block this queen of cups. It could be a water sign you're being guided to block. Uh-huh. Uh um Cancer, Scorpio, or a Pisces, especially with this Eight of Cups here too. You you need to walk away from this woman, this Queen of Cups, whoever she is. She's manipulative. She's no no bueno. Or either you've already walked away from her. Whoever this is, male, female, I don't know, but you need to walk away. It could be somebody in your family. It'll be revealed. You'll know who this is. Yeah, they could be this Queen of Swords or this Queen of Pentacles. Somebody at work, but I see a lot of good things coming in for you, but that's what that blocked is. You blocked somebody. You walked away from this person and you blocked them. You blocked. It's a woman that you guys blocked that you guys walked away from male or female, whoever you are listening. Yeah. So these are your messages. Thank you guys so much for tapping in. You guys can book your personal one-on-one -on -one readings or your law of attraction coaching down in the description bar. Okay. Give this video a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one. I am Nayla Latrice. Peace.